us hairy game lords this evening have been playing this hideous abomination. <laughs> what do we think? Find out. Right, well, uh, bearded lady here, and I'll let somebody else explain the game in detail. Effectively, you're crafting a hideous abom abomination. <laughs> and uh, everybody starts off with getting a little uh, end goal kind of card. Mine was my creature had to be five cards across, or wide. And then you're just... Uh, Placing, you've got a hand of cards and you're rolling a dice uh, or die, and then you roll the die, whatever it lands on, you do what it says on that die. There's different things, there's sort of like you can bolt uh, body parts together so they can't be stolen, very handy. Uh, you can steal body parts from other players and add them to your hand or add them to your creature. Um, you can, oh, and when you bolt. You also get to roll again. Very nice. You can take from the buffet uh, of uh, body parts or from the top of the stack. Um, and I'm sure there's another card as well. Another thing. Lightning. You, can, you can what? Lightning. Lightning. You can do any of the above. Or you can refresh what's out there on the buffet cart, so to speak. So, uh, this game instantly, there was a call out on the table of, hey, this game reminds us of uh, bears versus babies. And, uh, but it's actually a lot deeper in if, if this game could de be described as deep. Uh, there's more to do in this game, and I really enjoyed it. I love the artwork on the cards. Hey, I'm the bearded lady. I love artwork. And the artwork on the cards was pleasing to the eye. Um, and then what you create on the table, uh, that hideous abomination. <coughs> I love putting kind of like eyes and arms and legs all in the wrong place. Um, it, yeah, all of them look really cool by the end of it. Um, and uh, yeah, a, a good, good game. I can't remember who won. Who, who won? Did I win? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't even remember. I've won both games tonight. Exactly. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> it hasn't happened in ages. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I won. Good times. Uh, and yeah, there's a great way of scoring, but I'll let somebody else talk about that as well, because uh, I don't want to take everything up. Uh, but yeah, good, good game. You need to get involved with this game. It's a great little game to get involved with, and it comes in this awesome box. Do it. Get involved. Slightly Bernie James. And this is the new Camel Cup. Look at this. Hideous abominations. Or is it hideous abominations? You decide. Uh, hideous abominations is um, a lot of fun. It was a great way to start our evening off. Um, we had a great laugh around the table. It's nice and simple, easy to learn. And... Um, I don't know, it's got enough of the uh, the kind of stealing of the body parts and the protecting of the body parts and the creating of your beautiful monstrosity dreams. Um, but at the end of the day, like, we uh, we all managed to create something that we were proud of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, in its own way. Like, the things that you create are hideous. And um, I think, I guess that's the measure of success at the end of the day. Um, at the end of the game, every monster is given awards. So, uh, well, every decent monster is given awards. So there's uh, the first monster to be completed. That's when the game ends. There's the smallest monster, which I managed because everyone kept stealing my stuff. Uh, there's the most colourful monster because all of the body parts have got different colours on them. But then there's also <laughs> there's also um, four other random objectives that you can be a uh, get going for the different awards so i think there was the most teeth there was the most eyes there was the most horns and like i mean dave's dave had a torso with like all, horns all over it and um one horny old monster <laughs> dave and then finally there's uh, 
the award for the monster with the most, um, I don't know, what would you call it? Like, a, I don't know, connecting parts. Like, you know, just absolute monstrosity. Anyway, this game, um, yeah, do recommend game. it. <laughs> back to the game. Do check it out. It's, uh, it is quite horrific and hideous and gruesome. Um, but they did it well. Um, have fun. Aye aye, Hipster King here. Uh, <laughs> this is a game that's got real teeth. Hey. Oh, that, that's me for my bad jokes. Apologies. Hideous abominations. Um, abomination. Abominations. We're back at that one as well. Um, really good filler game. Uh, and I think a brilliant option for a family as well. It definitely has got more game in it than, um, as I already mentioned, uh, Bears vs. Babies. It's a similar game in terms of the way that you're building sort of monstrosities, but that's where the similarity ends. There's more in this game, there's more options, there's more choices, you can take cards from other people, you can play your cards onto other monsters. So if you notice that one of your opponents is getting close to finishing and because of what they've already got out, you can see that they're likely to win because you've got a good idea, you know what the um, the various rewards are you can see you get a fight one of the you also get them um everybody gets points for the same for having for whichever their most um used color is so if you used five red cards in your monster you will score five points for that if you also have some wild cell included in that as well so you can see where people are going and if you notice somebody's about to finish and you happen to have a really nice card that's got, you know, it's like a, a, it's got three or four connections coming off it. You can throw that in there onto theirs to give them another set of things that they've got to work on before they finish off. So there's a lot more thinking to be done. However, what is it, what I really also what I additionally like about this game in terms of addition of other options it throws in. Um, it gives you three or four different game modes. This came with an expansion that we played tonight, which was the Robots and Rot expansion. Rot kind of does put some kind of cards down that won't score, so you can play those onto other people's and allows you also to cover over some of their already played cards. The robot cards um, are already come pre-bolted, so they can't be stolen, which is useful, so they're sort of extra strong while the Rot does some pretty nasty damage. Um, but on the flip side, if that's com too complex for you and your family, particularly if you've got young ones, you can just build horrible monsters. So it comes with three or four different game modes or just playing fun building monsters, just playing a simple card game where you deal out the cards and build monsters. So it's one of those games that you can kind of play at different levels, which I really think is, I think there's a brilliant add on to help um, if you've got a, a family with younger kids, you could play with them, but then maybe play on your own or play with a group, a gaming group later is a brilliant filler. So it's got a lot of game in a lovely, well-designed box, lot of just gorgeous artwork. The monsters were gross, but in the right way. Hideous abominations, it's a belter. Hi, Dave the Grey. So, hideous abominations. Um, that's not just us, it's the game we've been playing tonight. Anyway, uh, so this is, it's just a really nice sort of warm-up type game, I think is uh, how we played it. Although it could go on for quite a while if you want to really sort of push and make it take over the entire table. Um, it's got a little bit of take that because you can um, steal other people's monsters and especially if they've built something nice and big and complex um, if you take one out of the middle they've got to fill that gap with something very similar and you can see what other people are building so I think uh, Andrew was going for the sort of lobstery type ones um, and they changed hands quite a few times. Um, it's done on a dice roll, so it is a little bit random, but there's two dice rolls, so you've got a one in three chance, basically, of being able to nick somebody else's stuff. I think at one point, I nicked James's, he nicked it straight back. Um, and then it was just, uh, Ange wants the uh, lobstery stuff, so, uh, well, let's just take that. And then we'll steal it off him. And he still managed to win in the end. Not quite sure how that happened, seeing as uh, I think we were all just having a bit of a go at him. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's not big, it's not clever, it's ugly monsters, but it's certainly quite a lot of fun. So uh, check it out.